Hi, welcome to Mamie Math. Today we're going to look at how to divide with rational exponents. Okay, rational is just a fancy word for fractional. So we're looking at fractional exponents. So here's our first problem. We have 15x to the 1 half, all divided by 3x to the 2 thirds. Okay, the coefficients on these, the 15 and the 3, they just get a normal auto automatic operation of division. So that's just going to leave us with 5. But with the exponents, when you have like bases and you're dividing, you're going to subtract the exponents. That's the rule. So we're going to have x to the 1 half minus 2 thirds. So let's simplify that, okay? So we have to get a common denominator. We have a 2 and a 3, so the common denominator is 6. So we need to multiply a half by 3. So it's going to be 3, 6 minus, to multiply this one by 2, that's going to give me 4. So I've got 5 to the x to the 3, 6 minus 4, 6. And that's going to give me uh, 5x to the negative 1, 6. Okay, now what that's telling me is that exponent is in the wrong position. It's got to go down to the bottom of the fraction. So I'm going to write this as 5 x to the 1 sixth. And some people stop right here, but I'm going to show you how to rationalize this one. This sixth, uh, 1 sixth, means it's a sixth root. So you can write the sixth root of x, and that's how you would convert it from a rational exponent to the radical. Okay, and we can't have radicals in the denominator, so we need to clean this up. We need five more x's to get to get it out of the sixth root because a sixth root means you have six of them. So I've got to multiply this by 5x to the 5 6 because 5 6 and 1 6 will give me 6 6. I multiply the top by that because really I'm just multiplying by a value of 1. That is a value of 1. Okay, so let's multiply these together. 5 times x to the 5 6 is just 5x to the 5 6 all over, and this is going to be give me x to the, and I'm multiplying now, so I'm going to add my exponents, 6, 6. Well, we know 6, 6 is 1. So this actually just simplifies to 5 to the 5, x to the 5, 6, all over x. And no, we can't cancel those out because we just cleaned it up, so we would have a whole x in the bottom instead of a fractional exponent. And that is our final answer. So it's a little confusing. I know it is. Let's look at one more example. Okay, so we have x to the 3 fourths y over x to the 1 fourth y to the half. Okay, so let's, this time we have two variables. Again, we're going to use the same um, rule. We're going to take the exponents and we're going to subtract them. So we're going to have x to the 3 fourths minus one-fourth, and then y to the, okay, that power up there, we assume that it's a one, and I'm going to write it as two over two. So x to the three-fourths minus one-fourth, y to the two over two, which is one, minus one-half. That simplifies to x to the, well, two-fourths, y to the one-half, and again, that reduces one more time. That's x to the 1 half, y to the 1 half. And you can leave it like that. Or since these have the same denominator, you could actually very easily write it with a radical. If you have to switch it to radical form, that's just the square root. We don't write it, but there's a little 2 there for a square root. x, y, or just the square root of x, y. And that is our final answer, or if you want to leave it as a rational exponent or fractional exponent, you can leave it like that. So there you go. There's a little bit on how to divide with rational exponents.